Look at me. Investigation, no coin. Birna, welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sumbi. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. We will be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl, and I will be ready for the raids ahead. <sighs> Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one.
All right. Bring out my lieutenant. I would like to reorganize the crew. I have to go. Mm. Long have I Quite waited delicious. for the chance to serve one of such worth. Rave with me, warrior. For plunder, glory, and Valhalla. I will be back. And I will be. Nothing else for you today. I must be on my... Don't be a stranger. I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. I have to go. Then go in peace. to take care. Did I not say to take care? Winfield, Betham, you look dour for festival goers. I'm not dour, I'm furious. My fool of a son released the cattle we were raising for the feast. Just let them go. You let them go? Why? Would you believe it's because I am a lone wolf who says damn the rules? Would you believe I took them to the river for one last graze? But one of the cows looked at me strangely, and I got scared. Ah, uh, that I believe. Do you want me to get them back for you? Take bear them with you. Perhaps you can protect them from the terrifying cattle. Go on, love. Go with Abel. Very well. <laughs> Where were you when the cow frightened you? Uh, across the river. That away. I'm not genuinely afraid of cattle, but the look in this one's eyes, I thought it might hurt me. They're big cows. Perhaps this is an opportunity to overcome that fear you claim not to possess. This is where it happened. They shouldn't be too far. Good. 
Let's begin tracking. Your first lesson. All right. Show me. I understand this is daunting. Even domesticated creatures possess a worthy strength. And so, even in slaughtering and eating them, we must show them respect. I do not begrudge you your fear. Thank you. I begrudge myself quite a bit. I feel quite foolish. Bertham, tell me more about Maida. You're quite taken with her. Oh, yes. She's a remarkable person. Always makes me laugh. <laughs> an amazing hunter. She's just so brave, skilled, strong, and... Aid me. Oh, yes. Right. She's a remarkable person. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. <laughs> and an... Am now... Learn to wield the bow. Arrow rests on the string. Pull it back. Breathe. Go, Sudan. I hope you aren't too annoyed that you need to look after me today. And clean up my mess. If anything, this is more relaxing a day than I have enjoyed in recent memory. Now, learn to wield the bow. Arrow rests on the string. Pull it back. Breathe. Aim. And release. You make a challenging thing sound simple. What do you see, Sunan? Bertham! Oh my goodness. Did you see that, Eivor? It took me a moment to believe it. Fine work, Kalfira. You have overcome your enemy. Please don't make that my new nickname. Ah, uh, I will think on it. Collect the meat, then we'll return to the farm.
Thank you, Eivor. Oh, this part is tougher than I thought. Maida won't believe I've done this. Nor will my mother. Batham, were you really scared by a cow? That seems unlikely for a farmer's boy. Well, if I tell you what really happened, will you tell anyone? Never. It's... It's to do with Maida. She's always saying I'm so soft and sweet and kind and lovely. All good things. It's terrible. Who wants sweetness? I want to be brave and manly. I thought if I let the animals go, I could hunt them myself and show her I was a good provider and strong. Then I took out my bow and the cow did look at me and I did get frightened. So that part isn't entirely false. There's nothing wrong with having a good heart. I'm sure Maida is fond of you because you are a kind young man. Not in spite of it. Thank you, Eivor. I hope you're right. But all the same, I do intend to brag. Just a little. I feared asking this of Maida. But... I feared asking this of Maida. But... Do you ever feel sorry for the creatures? That you must hurt them so. I do not seek to cause them suffering. I aim for the heart, that it might be a quick death. I can't imagine being so skilled. Maida is much the same way. One shot, rabbit dead, clean. Them. Did you manage not to hurt yourself? Winfrid, I give you your son, Bertham the Beast Slayer. <gasps> the Beast Slayer? Oh, you should have seen me out there, Mother. I was a terror with an arrow. But I should go. Go? Where? I want to show Maida while the blood is still fresh. See you at the feast. Well, Avo, thank you. Whatever you did out there, I'm pleased for it.
Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I have seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Eivor, have you ever been in love? Why do you ask? I wonder if you know the feeling of having your very heart pulled from your chest as it pursues the elusive object of your desire. I wonder if you have ever known the bitter agony of seeing your beloved in the arms of another. I have known such a pain, and Maximus was its source. One of your lovers. Oh, God, no! No, no, no! Maximus is a snake and a leech. A slime-encrusted, blood-sucking viper of a man. He stole from me, my beloved. A perfectly preserved statue of a legionnaire. It is all I desire in this world. Last I heard, Maximus was holed up in and around London, holding my beloved captive, leering and pawing at it, no doubt. If you should ever see him, give him my regards. By that, I mean spit on him, then recover my statue. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Hmm. What have you brought for me? Wonderful. And here is something for you. Bring me more like this. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Show me what you found. Wonderful. And here is something for you. I could use more artifacts like this. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Let me see what you have. Wonderful. And here is something for you. I want more of these artifacts. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Hmm. What have you brought for me? Wonderful. And here is something for you. There should be more like this out there. I'm off. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor. I find one crack. I have a friend who needs that little Roman man you have. Octavian of London. I have a guess who your friend is. And no, Osbert cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert? <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert. A name fit for a poor failure. It'll cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. Fan of Rome, I see. I am too. Unique methods of torture. Crucifixion. Bronze bull. But where I am from, we have the Eivor. Nose lopped off, skin flayed, teeth carved out to wear as a necklace, then left to the birds. How much again? Ah, uh, free of charge? Let me just grab it for you. I'll have to take this back to Osbert.
feeling a little troubled, but good day, all the same. Eivor, good to see you. How are you, Tovi? Holding up? Much better now, I think. I miss Sven every day. And yet he is here with me, his hooker infused in every design. Believing that, it helps. Glad to hear it. And happy to offer myself as your first canvas. Good. Let's get started. I'm proud of the new styles I've been working on. I would like to see what you have in stock. Nothing more? I will see you later, friend. Until I see you next. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. Oh, <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor! Thank you! I must take my leave. So long. Valet! child I hear. The cries are coming from inside. I will help you out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought I was going to die in here. I give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. You're hurt. 
Hold on, I, I will carry you. Huh? That's the last time I go chasing rabbits, especially white ones. Now, just a little rest, and I'll be ready for more adventures. You hurt yourself hunting a rabbit. Hunting? No. He just seemed, well, in a hurry. I wanted to see where he was going. Take care with that curiosity, girl. You never know where it might lead. Farewell. What's the password? What? Just let me pass. No, that's not how it works. You need to say the password. Raven. Oh, that's better than the one I came up with. Okay, it's Raven from now on. Come in. Welcome to the tiny black market, traveler. Come and browse our treasures. Where are these treasures? I see only arts and ends. You think these three items here are true treasures? We have this special shoe, a shell of all the colors, and a petrified worm. Which one do you want to look at? That petrified worm looks a lot like a stick. That's because. This worm is more than 80 bar -quillion years old. Whoever carries it will live forever. Unless you lose it, then you turn into a pile of dust. That is powerful enchantment indeed. I will take it. May you live till the moon falls from the sky. Anything else? All right, I'll take it. And the paper inside comes for free. Bargains galore at the tiny black market. Anything else? The shell looks pretty. It carries the whole ocean in it. Truly. Really? I doubt that. Just place it next to your ear, and you'll hear for yourself. It's a fine thing regardless. I will have it. Yes! Another sale! You bought all my treasures. Thank you. And never was a coin better spent. Farewell, little one. What is this? The paper inside the shoe has writing on it. Perhaps this is a treasure after all. Whoa! Look at all this silver! You sold everything? I told you! Next! to clone myself here.
I sought pleasure with the silver I received from the Order. I shared it too, with many in need. Don't be blinded by the gleam of your bloodlust. Shared silver always comes at a cost. What of it? I forged good from what you call evil. Lives were improved. Lives worth more than the silver that paid for them. I do not regret the lives lost for the charity gained. Come here! Some good ah. takings here! Give me a hand with this. I smell silver here. Come, help me with this. Can't do this alone. We 
Lends me strength. Here! 